torture. It's torture. Absolute. It's absolute torture. A mother emotional about the very personal story of her daughter. Thank you for joining us at six. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Brian Loftus. Now she is the mother of a woman Nathan chasing horses accused of abusing for years. She sat down only with eight news now investigator Vanessa Murphy, who first brought us the daughter's story last night. Vanessa has been breaking stories about the criminal case against the dances with wolves actor is here now with more. Yeah, this mother tells me she lives with guilt every day, but she's now trying to stand up against the man accused of victimizing her daughter. I want to let our viewers know this story is of a sensitive nature. I tried to kill myself. I didn't see another way out because to me, leaving was never an option because of my mom. What would happen if I left? Melissa Leone breaks down as her daughter Corena shares her story, saying she endured sexual abuse to save her. I wish I could take it all back. And now looking back, Melissa says she realizes Nathan Chasing Horse was grooming her daughter. She says they first met the self-proclaimed medicine man and spiritual leader when Corena was about six years old. And he told me, um, certain things about uh, my own husband trying to make me see like that there was no future or hope. She says she left her husband, a decision she now regrets. Like looking back, I wish, I wish he didn't let me leave. She says she became devoted to Chasing Horses group known as The Circle. Do you believe it's a cult? Absolutely, absolutely. I didn't see it as a call I was in there. Melissa says she was diagnosed with cancer when Corena was 14 years old. They asked Chasing Horse for help to heal her. Corena visited him and says he told her spirits demanded her purity to save her mother. And that's when she says he sexually assaulted her for the first time. And what happened there was rape and there's no other label to put on it. She says the sexual abuse continued and Chasing Horse told her if she told anyone, her mother could no longer be helped. When she turned 16, they say he asked Melissa if Corena could be his wife. I think I was so brainwashed by then. I looked at it as some kind of honor that he chose my daughter. I was so sick in the head at that point that it was an honor. And I would walk around the circle with almost kind of feeling more entitled or privileged than the other women. When Corena turned 18, she says she moved in with Chasing Horse as his seventh wife, and the abuse now also physical and verbal escalated. She says she escaped in late 2021 and slowly began telling her mother what had happened. In January, Chasing Horse was arrested, and he now faces 18 charges in Clark County related to the alleged abuse of two women. Karenna is one of them. And every day I have to wake up and convince myself that I'm a good mom. But it's really hard when you know the choice that you made put her there. And I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know. I couldn't even get her out. I didn't know. Chasing Horse is expected to be back in court here tomorrow. He also faces federal charges and warrants in Montana and Canada. These additional cases seem to be in large part because Corena came forward.